Right. The Lagos Waste Management Authority calls for proper waste disposal as it completes rehabilitation of Volusius and Dump Site. Niger Governor's Forum promises improved minimum wage amid fiscal space reviews. And the foreign in debt toll from Brazil dam collapse rises. And in sports, Manchester City do Phil Foden. Khadija Shaw win Footballers of the Year awards. And now the details. I am Mike James. The Lagos Waste Management Authority Loma has called for proper waste disposal, urging residents to avoid dumping waste in drains, especially during the rainy season. Managing Director, CEO of Loma, Muiwa Gbadegeshi, who made the call, said the agency has completed the rehabilitation of a Lucius and dump site to ensure smooth waste disposal operations across the state. Gbadegeshi said the maintenance efforts was aimed at improving operational efficiency in anticipation of the rainy season. And according to him, Loma is focused on enhancing operational efficiency to improve turnaround times for waste disposal trucks, adding that the rehabilitation will significantly reduce queues, translate into faster and more effective waste collection services. The Lagos State Traffic Management Authority last month has emphasized the importance of professionalism among its cadet officers and serving the motoring public across the state and ensuring effective traffic management. Special advisor to the Governor on Transportation, Cholangiwa, stated this during the commencement of a three-day training course for last month cadet officers, noting that the significance of upholding ethics and professionalism in their roles cannot be overemphasized. Give one caution the officers to shun corruption and exercise discipline in discharging their duties. Also, the general manager of LASMA, Olalikon Bakaruki, said the training course will equip officers with the latest traffic management techniques, strategies, and the best practices. The Ministry of Tourism, Arts and Culture team led by the Chief Executive Officer of Legistic Council for Arts and Culture, Edu Johnson, has joined residents of Badagri to celebrate the Hundeton Festival in Ajarat Kingdom of Badagri, Lagos State. Johnson noted that the festival has become a yearly tradition that is gaining momentum every year and turning Badagri into the mecca of tourism in the state. He commended the organizers for their consistency, stressing that if they do not stop celebrating the festival, it will continue to get bigger and better yearly. Speaking on the Ondeton Festival, His Royal Majesty Agano Tonio I, the Ahonu of Ajara, stated that the festival aims to promote the town's cultural heritage and attract tourists to the area. And now to the rest of the stories. The Niger Governors Forum, NGF, says the 36 state governors are reviewing their individual fiscal space and the consequential impact of various recommendations get towards achieving a sustainable and improved minimum wage. The governors acknowledge various initiatives adopted recently by way of wage awards and partial wage adjustment, saying it is imperative to state that the 37-member tripartite committee inaugurated on the national minimum wage is still in consultations and yet to conclude its work. According to a statement, Chairman of the Governor of Quara State, Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak, in a virtual meeting reiterated commitment to resolving issues bordering on remuneration of state judicial officers and the infrastructure of the courts. Today's World Press Freedom Day, the United Nations General Assembly declared the day to be World Press Freedom Day or World Press Day to raise awareness of the importance of freedom of the press and remind government of their duty to respect and uphold the rights to freedom of expression. The day is celebrated this year with the theme Press Freedom Day is a press for the planet, journalism in the face of the environmental crisis. It will interest you to know that the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, is currently hosting the 31st World Press Freedom Day conference in Santiago, the capital of Chile. According to UNESCO, 70% of environmental journalists have been attacked for their work, and at least 749 journalists on news media reporting on environmental issues have been attacked in the last 15 years. 
UNESCO called for stronger support for environmental journalists and better governance of digital platforms. And in some foreign news, a hydroelectric dam has collapsed in southern Brazil after days of heavy rains that triggered massive flooding, killing more than 30 people. Officials say another 60 people are missing in Rio Grande do Sul state. About 15,000 residents have fled their homes since Saturday and at least 500,000 people are without power and clean water across the state. The bus dam triggered a two-meter wave, causing panic and further damage in the already flooded areas. The extreme weather has been caused by a rare combination of hotter than average temperatures, high humidity and strong winds. Sports news, Manchester City duo Phil Foden and Khadija Shaw have been named Footballers of the Year by the Football Writers Association. Foden scored 24 goals and provided 10 assists and 50 appearances in all competitions for City this season. The England midfielder received 42% of the vote for the men's award, beating Declan Rice in second and City teammate Rodri in third. Arsenal captain Martin Odegaard, Aston Villa striker Oli Watkins and Chelsea forward Cole Palmer made up the rest of the top six. Meanwhile, Khadija Shaw is the Women's Super League top scorer this season with 21 goals in 18 games. The Jamaican saw off competition from Chelsea's Lauren James to win the Women's Award with City teammate Alex Greenwood coming third. And as our news at 12, or just before we go, stay alive. Make use of pedestrian bridges where available. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms. X, Traffic Radio 961. Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961. Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube. Traffic Radio 961 and our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Sawulu administration organized a mentorship seminar for over 1,000 youths on the theme Agripreneur's Strategy for Wealth Creation? Well, you can get more details on the Legacy Government website. And to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. Waste Management Authority Loma has called for proper waste disposal, urging residents to avoid dumping waste in trains, especially during the rainy season. The Nigeria Governors Forum NGF said the 36 state governors are reviewing their individual fiscal space and the consequential impact of various recommendations get towards achieving a sustainable and improved minimum wage. We also told you that a hydroelectric dam has collapsed in southern Brazil after days of heavy rains that triggered massive flooding, killing more than 30 people. And in sports, Manchester City to Phil Forden and Khadija Shaw have been named Footballers of the Year by the Football Writers Association. And for contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at Traffic Radio 961G. And that ends the news broadcast. This was compiled by Adirayodu Olaya. Thank you very much for listening. Lagos. Uh, my name is Mike James. Of course, it's a wet and rainy Friday afternoon. It's now time for us to usher in the door of Micah Arocha and uh, Timmy Tokbe uh, for lunchtime worker. <laughs>